Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about on virtual data rooms for intellectual property licensing. VDRs can be a valuable tool for IP licensing for a number of reasons including security. VDRs offer a robust security features to protect sensitive IP documents from unauthorized access, theft and loss. This is important for IP licensing as licenses need to have a access to confidential information in order to assess the value of the IP and to develop a licensing agreement. Efficiency VDRS can help to streamline the IP licensing process. For example, VDRS can make it easy to share IP documents with potential licenses and to track user activity to generate reports. Collaboration VDRS can help to facilitate collaboration between licensors and licenses. For example, VDRS offer a feature such as discussion forums, tax management tools and annotation tools. How to use VDR for IP licensing? Here are some tips on how to use VDRS for IP licensing. Choose a reputable VDR provider. When choosing a VDR provider, it is important to select a company that has a good reputation for security and reliability. Create a data room template. Create a data room template that can be used for a different IP licensing deals. This will save you time and effort when creating data rooms for different deals. Organize your documents. Once you have created a data room, organize your documents into folders and subfolders. This will make it easier for licenses to find the documents they need. Set user permission. Set user permission to control who has access to your data room and what permission they have. For example, you may want to give licenses access to certain documents, but you may restrict their ability to download or print certain documents. Track user activity. Track user activity within the data room to monitor who has access your documents and what they have done with them. Here are some specific ways that licenses, licensors and licenses can use VDRS for IP licensing. Licensi licensors. Licensor can use VDRS to share IP documents with potential licenses to manage the IP licensing process and to collaborate with licenses. Licenses licenses can use VDRS to review IP documents to ask questions of the licensor to and to negotiate a license agreement. Here are the some additional tips for using VDRS for IP licensing. Use data room checklist. Create a data room checklist to ensure that you have included all of the necessary documents in your data room. Train your staff on how to use the video. Make sure that your staff knows how to upload document, organize document and set user permission. Monitor the video audit logs regularly. This will help you to identify any suspicious activity. Keep your data room up to date. Make sure to update your data room with new confirmation as it becomes available. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about using video for IP licensing, please leave a comment below. In conclusion, VDRs can be a valuable tool for IP licensing. VDRs can help to protect sensitive IP documents, streamline the IP li uh, licensing process, facilitate collaboration between licensor and licenses. If you involve in IP licensing, I highly recommending recommended using a VDR. There are a number of VDR providers available, so you can choose one that meets your specific needs. That's all everyone. I hope you will understand this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you again.